What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jason at CL314 coming back with another video. So uh typically um uh, you know I've been trying to post videos more consistently <clears throat> but I, I hardly ever do it on the weekend because I normally work on the weekend but uh, I called off this weekend so you know um, so I decided to do a video because I got a bunch of packs as you can see I got 60 uh, show packs 5 ball in the habit 2 of these bullshit packs and I think I got 6 diamond duo packs um so, I decided to do a pack opening. Now, as you guys are well known, yesterday, um, you know, season two had dropped. And, um, you know, uh, definitely was excited. Um, you know, I'm a little disappointed because one of the cards that I want, I know I won't be able to get. And that's the set, coll set, set collection, um, set two collection, Randy Johnson. Uh, I know I'm not gonna be able to get him unless you know you can just flat out just buy him and I I, I don't think you can buy those cards I'm I, I'm not sure um but uh but yeah so um like I said in my last video my goal is to get Fernando Tatis Jr. Um right now as I, I'll show you guys currently I'm working on far as the programs i was i was grinding nl east um to get jacob the ground so i got to that point um i'll probably keep grinding nl east to get this uh spencer strider uh card because it's, it's it's a pretty good card but i definitely gotta get jacob the ground first so um I was working on that, and I was also working on the Mexico City Series. Uh, I'm trying to grind to get, um, I guess, to get this card, the Trent Grissom, because it has 5,000 XP once you get them. Um, but I'm really wanting this. This is what I want, this uh, Around the World pack. Um, <clears throat> so I can have the chance to pull... Uh, JT Rumuto because I think he's probably like the second best uh, catcher in the game next to Jorge Posada and, and really in my opinion I would probably take JT, JT Rumuto versus Jorge only just because he's faster you know Jorge got more pop in his bat and whatnot but uh, yeah but that's really why I'm trying to grind the rest of this uh, program out so I'm, I'm pretty close um so yeah, but anyways, let's get to this pack opening. So, uh, now just to show y'all the collection, the collection that I'm talking about, just in case you're not familiar. See, there he is right there. There's the the Randy Johnson. The, uh, let's see right here, Randy Johnson right here. I don't believe. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you could sell them if you get them. But he would be like a shit ton of fucking stubs. Um, if he was able to get him. I mean, this is a beast of a card. Um, you know, and, I mean, Randy Johnson speaks for himself. So, uh, but um, I know good goddamn well. I'm not going to, I think you need 160 to get to the first pack. Yeah, to get to the first pack. You gotta collect 160 cards. I'm not gonna fucking do that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way. It's, I could grind this game all day long. I'm not gonna get 160 fucking cards. Uh, just ain't gonna happen. Um, and you got, I think you get the big poppy, which I don't like Boston at all. So I, if I was to get this motherfucker, I would sell it because I don't like Boston at all. I can't stand the Red Sox. Uh, this is Rich Gossage. Um, I would sell him too, to be honest with you. If I, if I did collect that that much, but uh, I, I'm pretty positive that you would be able to sell these cards. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know, like you know, I don't, why you why would you want to sell them? But you know, because all three of these cards are fucking OP as fuck. You got Hank Aaron. 
you know, OP as fuck, and you got David Wright. So all these cars are good as fuck. You know, every single one of them. <clears throat> so, um, but anyway, let's go back to this. Go back to uh, to the packs. Okay. So first, I'm gonna open these little bullshit packs right here first. Um. So currently, right now, I believe. Uh, I believe. Um. Uh, Fernando Tatis. I believe he's going for. I want to say. A uh, hundred and. 70,000 maybe 180,000 right now um uh, so um uh, you know I'm like obviously I'm sure I'm sure about a good 70,000 so but um uh, I will get them I for sure will get them um let's see Definitely um, happy with the new content that they came out with, with the new cards and everything. It's pretty legit. Actually, not a bad catch. Got 68 speed. So if you was to parallel him, he would be 73, and that's pretty good speed. I'm gonna go with him. Yes, okay, they know Sid. Okay, so um, do I wanna add him right now? Uh, Sure. Can I sell the the captain? No, I can't sell the captain. So, okay. All right. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Batman Guerrero Jr. Okay. So now this say that the charisma. I'm not sure if I can sell this or not. Yeah, I can sell these. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go with the most expensive. Unless it look like it's Lee Smith. I don't. I don't have any desire to keep none of these cards. So I'm gonna go with Lee Smith.
Then start going with Big Meat P. P. Lonzo. And then let's see. Um, Sell these cards, this fucking sucks. Uh, but I guess they serve their purposes as like, far as going towards like a collection or something like that. You can collect the cards, so you know, whatever. Alright, classic like, stage. Uh, I don't have no real interest in, I don't have no real interest in buying. I'm not buying, but getting polo ground, so. I'm gonna sell the stadium. I don't care about getting all over rounds. At least not at this moment. That's not my knees. Anybody did uh, talk about something off, the, off the topic while well, I'm opening these packs? Anybody that watches this video, I don't know if you uh, if you watch uh, Power Power Book Two. Of course, I get a fucking diamond equipment. Bullshit. Um, I just got to watch the last two episodes. It was a uh, leak. It was pretty good, man. Power, Power Book 2 actually uh, turned out to be a better series than what I anticipated. Uh, I definitely broke it off because they killed ghosts. Um, I just, I don't know, I ain't really had no desire to watch it. But I just gave it a chance. It actually ended up being a lot better than what I thought. And uh, those last two episodes, it was leak. Because um, if you're not aware, you know. Um, season, I mean, uh, episode 9 and episode 10 for season 3 that it's not out yet. Like, you can't watch it on Stars right now. But, um, but it got leaked. Um, it's, it's on the website again. Do your due diligence and watch the show. You'll be, you'll be, able, to be able to find it. But, um, uh, the reason why I found out is because I'm, uh, signed up to a Facebook group that, that uh, that's dedicated to power. So that's how I found out. But, uh, but yeah, anyways, yeah, the last two episodes were really fun. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely anticipating for the next season. You just have to see it for yourself. That's if you're into the show. Anybody that watches the video. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I got one diamond so far with bullshit ass equipment. So I guess when I get a diamond, I need, I need to specify diamond player. I still so far have not pulled a 90 plus diamond out of the show pack yet. Still haven't done that. Um, you know, now, you know, like I said in my previous video, I have pulled 
the feature diamond out of two um out of two fucking diamond duos man. I have the, the actual show pack itself I haven't done uh I forget what all the years of playing this game since I got back into it back in 2017 when he was on the cover I've never had any real good luck pulling these diamonds uh high diamonds that is um I think the, the highest diamond that I pulled out of a show pack was uh, either Gary Cole or Jacob DeGrom. I think those are the highest diamonds I've ever pulled out of a show pack. Oh, yeah. This is the show pack. Is just fucking ridiculous. Okay, we got a diamond. Hang that song. Okay, so I pray and hope that it's a 90 plus diamond. Um, knowing my luck is not. But whatever diamond it is, hopefully, hopefully, it's a decent amount of stuff. So let's see what we got. Let's cross our fingers. Oh, man. Very close. I spoke it into being. 89. Uh, I think he's going for like 7,000. Maybe. I think he's going for 7,000. I know he was a lower. Okay, he's going for 8,000. I know. I think he was starting off in the season. He was a lower diamond than this. I think he was at fucking 86 or something. But he went up though with the roster update. So he's going for 83. Okay. Okay, I can take that. I can take that. That's that was that's a good one. I'm not gonna keep it though. Not gonna keep it. I like Gary Cole. Uh, I've always enjoyed pitching with his card, but I'm not gonna keep it though. Let's see if we can get one more dime. It's funny how I brought up Gary Cole. I ended up pulling him. That's amazing. Still no 90 plus dime. I would love to pull fucking Jacob DeGrom or fucking, um, shit. Well, well, I was gonna say Nolan Arenado, but he done went down, though. I don't even think he's, he's not even a 90 plus diamond no more. He went down after this last, um, roster update. Oh, go to me. He, I think he's still 90, but his price went up, though. I would love to pull him. Shit. You know, I think he's going for like 130000 right now. Stuff. But, you know, as I said in the past, any Cardinal that I pull, I'm not selling. Um, so, if I was to pull Nola Aronado or uh, Paul Gosh, I wouldn't sell it. I would keep it. Because my goal is to do the Cardinals uh, collection start to get that stand usual you know being that I'm Cardinals fan St. Louis you did so let's see uh, don't look like I'm gonna pull it up. doesn't look like me okay I got a question for you guys. Have you ever pulled out of a show pack? I think I've seen it done in other videos. Have you ever pulled two diamonds in one pack? I think I've seen it done in the past. Uh, of course, that's never happened to me. But I think I've seen it on other uh, content creators' videos. Just keep jumping through moves. Can't stop, I must be 
I, I, I pretty much knew I wasn't going to pull another dime. <laughs> I don't think with all the stuff that I'm doing so far, I would be even remotely close to get hands on top of So we pulled Yeriko. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and open the these ball and the habits. And the odds is one out of fifteen. I only got five. So that's it. But the, I will say the one thing I like about the ball and the habit pack is you know you guarantee gold. So I do like that about the ball and the habit pack. It's it's I like that. I got two goals so far. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's see, let's see. So. Go. Okay. Alright. So I'm hoping with a bond as a heavy pack, I would have a better pool as far as diamonds. So let's see. Okay, let's see what we got this time. Ready free? Okay, he don't go for shit. I think he go for like 3,000. Okay, so that sucks. Okay. I pulled one of the absolute worst diamonds you could pull. Yeah, he go for like 3,000. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's uh, okay. All right, well that's three thousand I didn't have. So, all right, last ball in the habit. Oh, oh what on? Okay. Uh, I guess uh, he was a diamond. We use an eighty-five, but he dropped. So. Alright, okay. That wasn't bad though. The ball and a half pack wasn't bad though. Out of the five packs. Okay, so let's read the odds on this. One out of ten for 85 plus. And then you have the, the possibility of the actual feature. Cool. So out of this, I would get Dontrell Willis. I would probably keep him. To be honest with you, I would keep him probably because he's left-hander. I would keep him. Uh, this, I would hope to get Josh Hader again. I would sell him because I already have him. This, I would want Chris Bryan. I would keep him because um, his fucking card is cracked. And I think he's the highest Diamond Duos card out of all of the packs. I think he's the highest one. Cause he's going for sixty-four thousand right now. So yeah. So I would want Chris Bryant. This pack. Uh, I would probably go for Will McCovey, and I would sell him. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one. Uh, probably go with Ralph Keener. I would sell him. This one, I would go with Bryce Harper, and I would sell him. Yeah, he's going for 131000 I would sell him. Quick, fast, and hurt. Okay, so, and I got two of those. Okay, so, all right, so let's go and get his pop. I went on that pack. I got uh, at least one diamond out of all these packs. At least one. Two of these. 
see if I can pull this. New. Wow. Fucking odds on these are it's really fucking suck. Okay. Alright, got it done. Okay. So now we're praying and hoping that we pull the feature perks. If not, at least a 90 fucking diamond. Let this be my 90 diamond uh, live series, at least. Wow, this is crazy. Okay. So who do we get this time? Please tell me no Freddy Free. Uh, I don't know how much this guy's going for. That sucks. How much is he going for? Three thousand. Wow. Okay. So with everything that I've opened so far, I still don't think I'm even nowhere close to getting Fernando Tatis. Um. I might, out of everything that I pull, if I can, I sell it. Um, I might get lucky and get about 30000 If that, I'm still going to need another 40000 to get Fernando Tatis. Uh, so I'm about to keep grinding. Um, I don't, I would say this was a successful pack opening because I mean I did pull what three diamonds uh but they was all low tier except Gary Cole I said I would say Gary Cole was 89 at least I guess on the low tier side but uh but I would love to pull any 90 plus diamonds uh cause that definitely would have helped contribute towards getting the nano Tatis um, this this one, I say this for last just because I know what I'm getting. I already showed you guys. There's no surprise about it. But, um, just, um, so I'm definitely going to get him. Uh, I think next after that, I'm going to go for Spencer Strider. So, yeah. Add him to the rotation. Uh, get him the fuck up out of here. Okay. All right. So now let's let's just check real fast, cause I'm pretty sure Fernando Tatis Jr. goes for a hundred and seventy thousand right now. Did I pass him up? Did I pass him up? I've been doing this shit all the time. There he is right there. Okay, so the bid is going for 170. That's the highest bid for him right now. So, yeah. I got some work to do. Um, after I get Fernando Tatis Jr., I, don't, I really don't know who I'm going to strive for next. Um, I think I'm going to just start saving up my stubs. Uh, probably. Because, like I said, I'm not really sure. You know what? Let me see while we're here. I wouldn't see why you wouldn't be able to. But let me see if you could buy Randy Johnson. Because he would be... What I would go for next. Okay. Um. So I don't even I don't even know if you can sell those cards. It doesn't look like you can. So yeah. I don't know. Okay. So all right, guys. Well, that's it for the video. I uh, just want to do that that pack note opening for you like i said i think it's somewhat successful we got three diamonds i'm um, pretty sure after i sell everything i should be close to about 130 140,000, and i'm just gonna have to get like another 30 35,000 more stubs so i can get fernando tatis um yeah all right well once again it's your boy jason stl 314 
I'll holler at you. Peace.